hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is joy hunoji live and direct to you yeah. it's so good to have us here again and you know it's been a while we talked about this topic it's been a while little while not so long long while but <laughs> here we are again yeah um I promised the other time that I was going to be dropping some tips and you know helpful materials and all of that about English when I passed the other time but you know time has sort of been a constraint but here we are today talking about some NCLEX tips and tricks to help you you know pass the time um pass the test rather as a first time test taker forgive my mother <laughs> all right so um before we begin, if you're yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, kindly do so immediately but so that you know you don't miss out on any of our videos as the time goes by, alright? Alright, so um the first um you know tip or should I say trick that can help you, you know, scale through to pass the NCLEX exam as a first time test taker is first of all knowing the um content areas, you know, knowing what and what to expect in NCLEX because you can't just go there. You know blank not knowing what you're doing you can't just go there like not understanding the question types you understand what i mean so knowing the question areas knowing the question content areas to study to study about you know kind of helps you like gives you an edge over you know every other thing that are going to every other challenge that is going to come in later on so um so the content areas like you know safe and effective care environment um physiological integrity, health promotion and maintenance, and psychosocial integrity. Those are the four major areas and they have them um, subtopics, sub areas in, you know, underneath them. So know them, know the content areas, know what is underneath them. You, you have all those cardiovascular respiratory system, cardiovascular system, gastrointestinal system and all of that within them. They are subtopics, they are subcontent areas, but those four major ones I listed are the major ones. And this is not just a, this is not a video telling you about the content areas. I'm going to do another that video if you want you can check on my channel to do um to talk about you know different content areas in details so this is just a uh a video to help us with the test and the tips and tricks rather to you know sketch through the end class as a first time test taker so know the content areas know safe and effective care environment know the topics underneath those know the you know subtopics and all of that and know everything about it you know know the uh, health promotion and maintenance psychosocial integrity physiological integrity you know no okay this is what is on that this is what's under this and this was that sort of you know helps you to kick start the process you understand if you're a first time test taker um i think this was what i sort of made as a mistake during my own um test because i went there the first time not really understanding what it was all about i just read a miss if you understand i read without following the structure i read without following a particular format i just read scatteredly i didn't follow it group by group or content area by content area and that sort of you know made me to fail the first time so that's number one and number two is um you know having a calendar having a structure you're following having a calendar on the areas that you're going to study on the topics you're going to study for a particular day or a particular week say for instance you're having your english in um um, two months time or in three months time you draw out a calendar like draft a calendar and say okay on this particular day each day i'm going to be studying like four or five hours per day that's just like a rough thing you should follow you know you're expected to study at least that much that number of hours per day four five six depending on what your strength can carry depending on how much your strength can carry you well it's usually advised that you study as much as that or if for instance your job doesn't allow you to follow that format say you can't study like you know four hours in a row or five hours in a row like at a goal you can't study that much for long you can as well try to break it down say okay i'm going to study two hours or one hour this morning in the afternoon i'll study another two hours evening i'll study another two hours or if you still feel okay this is too much just break it down to one you can you know carry but make sure that at least in a day you're doing something or say for instance you're working a job that you know you work the whole day for instance my own particular job i was working 
like 12 hour shift per day and going to work in the morning 6 a.m 6 30 a.m coming back at night you know i don't usually have that much time on the day i'm working to actually cover a whole four hours or six hours so what i do when i come back from work i try to do the best that i can i try to do as much as i can you know even if it's one hour or two hours i'm able to study that particular day i went for work i try to do that then the next day i'm off or the any day i'm off in that particular week any of the days usually it's like three days or four days any of the days i'm off i i will try to cover up those days that i've missed you understand and for they say for instance um the beginning of the week i'm off i try my best to over study so that i can cover as much area as possible for when i will be working then i know that okay i've done something to cover up to make up for those lost hours that i will be working and not be able to study you understand so drafting as a calendar you know telling yourself every day of the every day of the week for this whole month for this two months or this three months this is the this is the number of hours i'm going to be studying and these are the content areas i'm going to be covering you understand and that is the importance of sort of knowing your content areas to start with you know knowing that okay safe and effective care environment these are the subtopics on that these are the you know things i should study on that it and then you break it down and put them in the different dates all right so for instance cardiovascular system i'm going to study it on tuesday i'm going to do do four hours of it if i'm able to cover it fine if i'm not able to then i put the next one that i need to cover for the next day just know what you're able to cover basically you understand but that was what i did during my time my second attempt now um you know i set out one day for cardiovascular system the video because i registered with archer and excuse me i registered with archa and i bought their question bank i bought their you know content um you know bank as well because they had these videos inside they have these videos in their uh you know website or whatever you buy if you buy a question bank for two months three months they have videos that you can watch on different um, body systems cardiovascular respiratory all of them all of the content area are all in there so you have access to all the materials basically that whatever you need again might just be um question banks for you or that not that just to supplement what they have because they have everything they have the question bank they have a um, you know cast uh, system readiness assessment um contents like they have everything they have from a to z the safe and effective care environment health promotion and maintenance physiological and psychosocial integrity now this is not an advert for them but they sort of have everything in their videos so i think you would also has it but i sort of preferred Acha's own then uh, that i use their calendar so they also have a study calendar and i use their calendar to you know draft out my um, plan and be like okay for this particular day this is the thing i'm going to study this is the topic i'm going to study this particular day this is the topic i'm going to study and what i was doing i studied from monday to friday then saturday and sunday i would do cat and readiness assessments now if you don't know about this this um cat and readiness assessment there are sort of question banks you set to assess how far you've gone or how far you you're doing or how likely you're to pass the end place how you're likely going to pass the end place because it's it simulates the real end place and it gives you either a high chance of passing very high chance of passing or no chance of passing at all it tells you at the end of the question that you said that it normally says 85 so it tells you at the end of the question you said that if you have a chance of passing or not or high chance of passing it's sort of say 90 percent accurate yeah i found it 90 percent accurate because you know it gave me an idea of what i need to do what i need to improve on and if after you said those this thing and it it tells you it it at the end of the question that you said the question set you said it tells you these are the content areas you did well on these are the content areas you need to improve on you understand and that was what made me so much like it so much love it like you know i battled um actually very well then um so that's that about that buy a question bank and set a calendar to start with you know set a study calendar or buy an, a question bank acha or you word or both of them i use both of them i use acha i use you word i use sanders material you know sanders textbook so whatever you want to do do whatever you want to buy if you're not able to afford everything you can buy only one you can say buy only acha and then 
use that one to you know and get materials online get materials on youtube see youtube is a very very good place to get you know anything any information you need in this particular anything you need in this world is all on youtube you understand so you can go on youtube search for any topics you you want on nclass and put nclass at the end say for instance you're looking for uh, a video or information on cardiovascular system you just put cardiovascular system endless put endless at the end that's where it's going to give you information related to endless only and not just a broad or general thing that is anatomy or for medicine students and all that you understand so that's that for that so set a study calendar and then follow through with it be disciplined you understand be disciplined with it don't set a calendar that you're not able to follow don't set a calendar that is not smart smart you know it doesn't have smart goals mess um, specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound you understand so set smart goals set a calendar that you'll be able to follow and be disciplined with it you get so you say you're going to study today make sure you actually study that day no matter what happens push yourself to study that day you get and if for instance you're working like i said make up for the days that you'll be working and try to cover up so that it's all balanced and you have a balanced system all right so that's that for that and um also try to do question banks do question banks like setting it five questions per day you know i you during my time i used to do it five questions per day on u world i was using u world to do my question my daily question testing like you know testing myself on questions like it five questions per day every day and then reading the rationales that goes with it so if after setting the question bank i I finish it's going to tell me what I scored and then I'm going to read the rationales along I sometimes I use the tutorial mode which sort of tells you at the end of each question say you answer one particular question one now if you answered it it's going to tell you if you get get it wrong or right and it will give you the rationale behind the answer it's given so if you get got it wrong it's going to tell you okay you got it wrong and this is the rationale behind your answer if you got it right it's going to, if you got it wrong it's going to tell you okay this is the correct answer and this is the rationale behind it i don't know if you understand me you also gives rationale same thing with archer so they both give you rationales behind the you know answers they give you and that's very good that helps you to learn more about the content areas and um Okay, so the reason why I use only U Word for questions, I, I, I was instructed by my tutor then, it's, is that so that you have enough questions for your archer to set cards and readiness assessment. Because when you buy a question bank, for instance, they give you like 2,000 questions in that question bank for maybe two months, three months, depending. I bought one for 60 days then, I think. So they give you like 2,000 questions. Those 2,000 questions are what you have access to. So if, for instance, you use it all before the 60 days expire, you don't have any more questions. Again, you can be reviewing the ones you've already answered, but they are no longer fresh questions. Then you can decide, okay, I want to renew it and it costs money to renew. So you can renew your question back to give you added questions to it. But in order to sort of preserve it, preserve the one, the questions you have on Archer for cat and readiness assessment, because those are very important for you to do. I, you know, try to use maybe something else like you would. I heard you would now have cat as well, readiness assessment. I didn't really test it that much to see how effective it was, but I was using um, Archer's cat and readiness assessment to practice. You understand? So I, I had to save the question bank for only cat and readiness assessment, which I do every Saturday and Sunday. And then when it was close to my exam, I started doing it like every twice a week like wednesday then saturday and sunday you understand twice a week like wednesday i'll do cards then saturday i'll do cards again and do readiness assessment on sunday you understand so i was not doing it like twice a week instead of the once in a week which was the weekend that i used to do before and that's not about that so make sure you buy a question bank follow through with it try as much as you can to attempt 85 questions per day if you're not able to find but study the rationales behind the questions that you answer don't just answer it and then don't it. try to study the rationale behind it because um on your next attempt you're going to see that same question or a similar question that looks like this and with that knowledge you've gotten from the rationale you'll be able to answer that next question but if you don't read the rationale behind it you'll be faced with the question next time and you'll still be like 
as dumb and oh i don't know this thing because you didn't really study the rationale behind it the first time all right so that's yes and that's what also shows up during your real end class you understand those rationales you have read they are not going to come out the same way that it is in your question bank but they are going to be similar it will help you to you know have an idea of what to actually answer the answer to give to them and all that see in my real end class i didn't really have questions that were exactly what i saw in my question banks or exactly what i saw in readiness assessments and you know cards and all those cubans that we bought but the things that i did the practice that i did the content that i read you know gave me an idea to answer the real one and when i was even doing it i didn't know what i was doing i was like as blank like am i even doing the right thing because none of them were like similar they weren't the same but then again it gives you an idea on what to say it gives you an idea on what to give them as the answer you get and that's the purpose of study that's the purpose of practice that's the purpose of continuous reading you get and another tip is to know the con the question types that they said you know i you know for the new class now the um new generation next generation class, they brought out the um case studies which you need to know know the case studies how the set is you know there are six questions per case study and they bring at least like three case studies in your in your um whole question or whole exam so know the the question types know the multiple choice multiple response graph you know all those question types i'm going to say a video on that again as well as a separate video just to give us more idea on it but know the co question types know the content areas those are different things so know them that way study questions around each of them as you're studying your question banks you're doing your question banks if you start seeing some of these question types different question types you know calculations draw calculations and uh, millimeters and all, all those things you start seeing them so try to study them get used to them know them more so that you don't have any area you're lacking and then again if you have any weakness area say you feel okay um respiratory system is sort of my weak area i don't really know much about it try to focus more on it so that you know it don't dump it and say oh i'm going to leave it to chance i'm not going to sit on my rear exam who told you that you will see it and you will see it you get it will just shock you so if you know during your study you find that oh this is my weak area this is somewhere i'm not good at this so i'm not used to please and um, please study more on that area that you're not like study more and more on it go to youtube search for videos around it study until you're overused or until it becomes your favorite area those weak areas study until they become your favorite you get so that's that for that and then make sure that you know during the time you said you've said to practice for your interest you said to study for your interest if it's two months you're giving yourself and you're studying every day during those two months make sure that at the end of the two months you're able to cover all the content areas the safety uh health promotion make sure you're able to cover all of them the subtopics under them make sure you're able to cover all of them then if you're using saunders as well i use saunders 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 i don't know how to pronounce it but if you're using it um you know all those bosses those triangles and green bosses as it's displaying on your screen make sure that you you know you sort of read them study them get used to the points they are because they are like bullet points and they are very very useful for you most of them you see questions on on them in the real exam so study those triangles those green bosses and all that so that it will you know help you and give you more idea on the exam and also study sounders if you have the time study their sounders as well as you know doing your question and content areas on archers and not or archer and you know you will and so that's that for that and then at least a day to your exam um a day to your exam try to rest all right study key yourself do yourself over stress yourself you know days before a board the, the, the day before the exam at least try to take some rest just so you're well prepared mentally prepared for it and you know you don't feel stressed out on the day of the exam because if you don't get enough sleep the day before you sort of feel knackered like stressed out and your brain is not really able to process things much because you're tired so do it in a way that you know 
and a day before the exam you have time to rest to sleep to eat good food to just rest your head mentally and be prepared for it and then on the day of the exam please be, be there early try to be there at least 30 minutes to one if possible one hour before it's just so you are able to rest where you know give 30 minutes for the checks they are going to do identity check taking your picture checking your passport making sure the details are correct give 30 minutes for that then give some time as well for you to rest so give 30 minutes for you to rest and when you get there get there early rest your head okay think of what you're going to be doing think of how you're going to be answering your questions you know the approach you're going to be using whatever tricks and tips you've studied before think of how you're going to present them there and um you know you're normally given i think five hours isn't it for the exam so try to manage your time well because you're not going to be given extra time so try to manage your time well do the answer questions early don't waste time on a particular question if you find a question that you're not you know getting the answer to just just pass it first and then you can come back to it later is, is it just yeah i think you can so don't um stress yourself over questions you get um you know you're normally given at least you're normally given at least five hours to answer the questions again so um five hours eight five questions to 150 questions yeah so just manage your time well you guess don't waste so much time on a particular question on one question don't waste like five minutes ten minutes on uh, thinking about one question you know give yourself at least two minutes give yourself like two minutes okay if for instance you don't know it but if you know it immediately you're sure of it don't waste so much time on it move on to the next one immediately i'm not saying just rush over your questions because then you can't go back to them so um you know give yourself at least two minutes for a question you feel okay i don't know this and think about it look for clues look for triggers you know all those always never know that they are not always correct any question that tell you um this thing is always this this is never this like they are usually not correct those are some of the tips so always look out for those and um you know eliminate answers eliminate um answer options and then that might help you choose the right one so if for instance you're sure of this particular option say option d is definitely not correct eliminate it immediately if you're sure that you know option c is not correct definitely eliminate it immediately and then go over to you know when you're having like two left it sort of makes it easier for you to know the right answers for it and then again make sure you use the nursing process and Maslow's hierarchy of need when answering questions when studying as well you know when preparing doing your preparation period as well you know those times you're doing question banks it helps you especially on your exam because you're preparing for your exam so make sure you use Maslow's hierarchy of need use the nursing process add by that's assessment diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation assessments diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation you know answer questions like that know that assessment comes before diagnosis diagnosis come before planning planning come before implementation implementation come before evaluation so they are giving you a question and asking you what's the first thing you need to do and you're seeing assessment there you're seeing planning a, a, an option that gives you you know to assess this patient you're seeing one that gives you to plan it well know that okay this should come assessment should come before planning so i'm going to choose this but then again not in an emergency so that is the reason why you have to you know do your question banks before time do your study your content areas before time know what to do in what particular situation know what to answer in what particular situation and uh, for the maslow's hierarchy of needs um you know using the physiological integrity safety you know um self-esteem self-actualization and all that arrange your you know answer questions based on them know that you know the physiological um, needs come first the physiological needs which is um sleep food yeah those are the basic needs oxygen and all that and then before safety needs so physiological needs should come before safety needs safety needs should come before um self actualization security and all that you understand the triangle should be displaying on your screen now so try to follow that 
try to follow those steps try to follow that area um and answer questions based on them and answer it based on that don't jump to they, they are giving you a question and asking you which niche will you attend to first as it is as a not caring for a particular patient and then you're jumping to self actualization when there is a physiological need as an option and so as an option standing there you understand so use apply the Maslow's hierarchy of need apply no same process when you're answering questions don't forget them always apply them very important very very important very important all right and then you know know the trigger ways to look out for like i said try to answer your questions as promptly don't let yourself be distracted don't let yourself be distracted at all this is very very common this is very very common because we see ourselves our minds wandering away to somewhere very far especially if your boyfriend got you angry that very particular day or your husband said he's not giving you money for to cook breakfast or to cook lunch you see yourself you know just thinking about so many things please don't do that focus on your exam at that particular time and make sure you finish it you have enough time to do every other thing but if that particular time should pass and it passes and you're not able to bring it back and you end up failing the exam who are you to blame for it you get so make sure your mind is in that particular place at that time all right answer your questions promptly fast and like smartly and you know apply all the tricks and the tips you've learned during your preparation period and you know use them there and when you're done with the exams just just have faith believe in your power believe in yourself believe in your strength believe in what you've done and hope for the best and if at the end of the day the best doesn't come pick up yourself and start again you know pick up yourself and start again when i failed my first attempt i I just had to register again that very day i didn't let myself have a day to rest to mourn to cry to because i know at the end of the day i'm going to still come back to this so it's me that's still going to do it so why waste time on it uh it's it's past i failed it the first time i just have to prepare myself to write it again and i just paid for the exam that very day again and i started studying the next the next day which was like a new month you understand so that's what i think that's what i think just brace yourself for prepare very well the first time just so you don't have to go back in there the second time and that's the essence of making sure that you're well equipped you're well equipped with all the knowledge the content area you're well equipped with you know doing your question banks practicing with question banks making sure that you know with your cards and readiness you're getting very high chance of passing before you go and write your exam if you feel you're not confident enough yet you feel you're not well prepared enough yet please and please postpone your exam reschedule it on another date you're allowed to do it as long as you do it way before 48 hours before the exam like you do it before 48 hours of your exam you're very much allowed to reschedule so if you feel okay one week before two weeks before i don't feel prepared i don't think i'm ready yet please reschedule it and then make sure you're ready before you go and take that exam and have faith in your ability have faith in yourself i know a lot of people feel scared like oh my god i'm going to go to the lion's den and all that just have faith and trust your instinct trust your ability but you, you first have to be prepared all right um these are the few tips i have i might do another video if i remember any more tips but these are what i have for us today i hope you found value if you did please click on the like button click on the subscribe button especially show your support subscribe share with your friends and you know let me know what you think in the comment section let me know what you've gained in the comment section and let me know how i can be of help in any way you know Ask me any questions you want to in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.